Hello, and welcome to another Orca 3D video tutorial. Today, we are looking at how to modify your compartmentation model and how to add compartment properties in Orca 3D version 3. In our last video, we looked at the subdivide command and all of its different options. Now that we know how to subdivide our design's components into separate compartments, let's turn our focus to modifying the compartmentation. The join command allows us to merge a selection of compartments. It merges their geometry and their compartment properties. More on that later on. The join command does not remove the faces between the formerly separate compartments. Each former compartment remains a separate space. The explode compartments command takes a compartment created using the join command and separates it out into its constituent compartments. Let's look at the remove faces command. Our pipe tunnel is currently split into six compartments. Looking inside, the compartments are separated by these faces. We can delete these with the remove faces command. But when we go to remove the faces, Orca warns us that we will also lose the six separate compartments in the pipe tunnel. By deleting the faces between them, we are essentially joining these compartments. The faces have been removed from the model. And in the Orca tree, there is only one compartment left that encompasses the entire pipe tunnel. Let's look at a different example. Earlier, we used the box type subdivision to create these two compartments. However, one of those boxes protruded through the hull. We'd like to remove compartment 44, but we can't delete compartments in the tree view. We have to delete the geometry in the model. We'll run the remove faces command again and select only the outside face. We could select all of the faces, but let me show you why that isn't necessary. By removing a face, compartment 44 is no longer a closed volume. Additionally, the adjacent faces now have naked edges. Because Orca designs, components, and compartments only work with closed volumes, Orca will remove the open volume from the compartments list and trim back any naked edges until there are none left. The adjacent compartment on the other side of the hull is left intact. Finally, we can move faces using the Move Faces command. Just click the face you want to move and place it at its new location. Just like with other geometry changes, the compartments update and reflect the face's new location. The last and possibly most important command allows us to set the properties of individual compartments. Just run the command and then click the compartments that you want to set the properties of. We'll start by giving our compartment a more descriptive name. Each compartment has a default permeability, which you can set here. Every time you make a new load case for your design, this is the permeability that your compartment will have automatically. We can also choose if a compartment is watertight, or in other words, if it contributes to buoyancy. For example, our deckhouse does not contribute to buoyancy, but we've included it in our design to model its sail area. So for the deckhouse, we would uncheck this option. We can designate compartments as tanks. In a load case, a tank can be filled to any specified level with any specified fluid. Use this drop-down box to set the default fluid. Lastly, we can define a tank's sounding tube. This is the column along which sounding measurements are taken for a load case. By default, it starts at the lowest point in the tank and runs vertically to the height of the highest point. 
In a flat bottom tank like this, with no singular lowest point, the default sounding tube is placed all the way aft and to the inboard side. We can define a custom sounding tube as a polyline. When you're all done, click OK to save your changes. That's all for today. Hopefully, you have a better understanding of how to build a compartmentation model in ORCA version 3. In our next video, we'll look at setting up a load case for our ORCA 3D design with compartments. Thanks for watching, and check out the ORCA 3D channel for more how to videos. Got more questions? Get more answers with the help resources in the description.